Hi guys, this is Super Sam once again and you welcome to another episode of How To Tutorials. In this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can link your character into a new scene for animation. So, let's get started. Okay, so I, I want to quickly generate my character. Then after generating the character, I'm going to link the character into a new scene and prepare that for animation. And this is how you go about it. So you can get your character in different ways, but for me, I want to play around and uh, get something cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I think I like this guy. Let me change. And the outfit, you want something. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. So, I'm going with this character because, I mean, I just like this character. I don't know. It's time to export my character. So, And I'm going to choose a location where I want to save the character. So, how to tutorials, raw files. And um, I can give this uh, give. All right. And export. So, now I'm going to open up the scene. For GIF file, auto tutorials, um, browsing files, GIF, and here is my character GIF. Okay, so this scene will be equivalent to your own character scene, and I have a few things I would like you to take note of. So when you add that to your workflow, it makes your work easier. Now, if you look at my scene collection here. You can see I have a collection called AYML GP. Now you can name your collection whatever you want to name it, but the most important thing is that this collection should have both your mesh and your rig, right? So once the, once the, the, the group, the collection has the mesh of the character and the rig of the character, it becomes easier for you to link it into a new scene and Another advantage to this is that it makes your work organized, right? So, with this AY male GP, I have everything I need about the character. But I want to do a bit of cleanup, right? So, I would like to take uh, the background out of it because I don't need the background. And uh, I probably want to take out the, the cameras, the lights, and every other thing other than my character. And this is what I have now. Or, if you don't want to delete them, if you're scared to delete, you can move them to a different collection. But for this collection, I think I'm fine with AYM OGP. And I'm going to save that. Now it's time to create a new scene. And this scene is going to be our animation scene. So how do I bring my character in? So, all I want to do is create a different collection if I want to, but in this case, I'm still gonna go with this collection because I still have everything here well organized. I only have the camera and the light in here. So, I want my character to be in this collection. Go to File, Link, and of course, you always want to link your character. The reason is because after doing that hard work of animating your character, in the production pipeline, it is, there's hardly a time where everything you have at the first stage is always perfect. The director could call your attention to one or two things and uh, probably they want to change the look of the character or they want to change one or few things about the character. You, you'd have to be called back to work on that. And if you do so without linking your character, it becomes a problem and a challenge for you. So it's easier to link your character. It's easier to work by linking your character. When your character is linked, 
and you make any edits in the original scene, the edits would be automatically reflected in your own current uh, animated scene. Okay, so that's why you want to link your character. So I just need to go to the file where the folder where I have the file, and that's under in house auto tutorials and raw scene files. So it's called GIF. Double click on GIF, and you have different uh, folders presented to you. You want to go to the collection folder, and in the collection folder, I have just one collection in that scene and the collection is named AY MailGP. So in your own scene, you probably have different collections. Just go for the collection that has your character mesh and the character rig. So I'm going to double click this and I have my character in the scene. Punching on the period key to frame my object. And this is my character. But as it is now, I can animate this. There's nothing I can do about it, right? It's just there. Now, to have access to the rig, all you want to do is come to Object, Relations, and Make Library Override. So when you click on Make Library Override, you still need to click on Make Library Override once again because you can see the question asking you if you're okay by it. But of course I'm okay, so I'm going to click on that. And now I have access to my rig, right? So from this stage, you can just go to your Pose mode and animate. As simple as that. So I think uh, it would be cool for me to show you the advantage of having uh, a linked character in practice. Okay, so this pose looks very ugly, but we're just going to go with this because we can. Okay, um, I'm going to save this. I need something fast, just rough. Uh, let's go and save, save as um, give anim. Okay, so for give anim. Now give anim is saved, okay. But now the director had called my attention to the fact that he wants to change one of the things about the character and I need to do so now. So I'm going back to the give scene, which is this. And it's time to change the character. So okay, so I'm making it bigger, right? And I'm gonna save this. Save. GIF file is saved. And back to our animation. Now before I open up the animation, I'm expected to see this new updated changes in my animated scene. And that is exactly what we have here, right? A bigger give. We started with a smaller give, but we're ending up with this big one. So guys, this is where I'm going to call it a wrap. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you don't done so, and until next time, keep your creativity blending.